So for FC Hornet Media, this is the Big Game Day Snack Draft, or also as we're going to be calling it, Coach's Show Supplemental Episode 1, I think, Ryan. Yeah, is that right? Episode All right. 1. All right. Because we got a lot of stuff coming up on the way in addition to our regular uh, episodes of the Coaches Show that will be coming up uh, in the weeks to come. Sounds like brain salad surgery, but no, that's not one of my picks. So uh, <laughs> I'm not drafting yet. And in typical fashion over here with the radio guys, we're bringing Jake along from the ride. Editor-in-chief of the Hornet, it's still? Correct. Yes. Thank you. So Jake's along for the ride over here with the radio guys. And as things always happen to head in the direction of we landed on food. We're talking about the big <laughs> game. We're drafting. Each person gets four picks. Best big game day snack. So here we are, random.org. Four of us on the list, starting with the order Jake, Joe, Mark, Ryan. And we're going to randomize this four times. The end of the four times, number one's number one, two, you know how this goes snake draft also for anybody that is not aware how it goes the snake eats the head so one two three four then four will go again and then three two one one goes again until we've got all four of our picks shouldn't have done it we've got a cal state fullerton guy you're doing mm. math well let's do math with the cal state fullerton guy that's why i explained it so <laughs> dice roll number one we've got jake mark ryan joe sucks to be last but it's all right we got three more to go Two down, Joe, Ryan, Jake, Mark. I really wish we could keep that. <laughs> number three, Mark at the number one. Joe, two, Ryan, three, Jake, four. And for keeps, Jake, Joe, Mark, and Ryan. Oh, That's the original list. Wow. Wow. Okay. Look at that. okay. <laughs> all right. So, you know what I think is easier? If I go first all the time, because I'm the oldest. You said, <laughs> you said it was Jake, Joe, Ryan. See, you Jake, can't. Joe, remember. Mark, Jake, Joe, Mark, Ryan. Jake, Ryan. Joe. Mark and Ryan. I guess it clicks it up here so I know when I'm going. <laughs> if it makes it easier, just think JJMR. It does not, but you know what? We'll go, we'll go with Jake, Joe, I'd Mark, and one, Ryan. I'd say one, two, three, four is easier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first overall, we've got Jake in round number one. And no pressure. This is pick one, round one. Yes, the, the cream of the crop, the best of the best. I don't think it's too debatable. Go with hot wings. Ooh, okay. All right. Oh, and I like that you're actually writing it down, right? Because yep. I don't actually have, <laughs> talking about being a good producer earlier, I did not have anything to type on right now. <laughs> so sweet. Hot Wings, number one with the bullet. Number one. Now, if you're going to bring in Hot Wings, you've got to also supplement the sides. Since this is, in fact, your pick, just yeah. like you would in a football draft, a hockey draft, we got to talk the number one overall pick. Yeah. What are you bringing to the table when it comes to your Hot Wings? Well, number one is the word I didn't say. No, I didn't say wings. It's hot wings. So wings and hot. Oh, okay, okay. Buffalo definitely. Um, here's where the debate might open up: is you go in blue cheese for the dipping. Gotcha. See, I can't stand blue cheese. Blue that's, cheese that's doesn't. The... Blue cheese doesn't even touch my wings whatsoever. Yeah. That's that non-starter. So, I think if the wings are good, you don't even need to add uh, any. That's fair. That's fair. So you don't have to touch the blue cheese. I'll eat the blue cheese. Yeah. That's fine. I'll do it with my wings. It adds that little bit of coolness mm -hmm. to it, that extra little cheese, a bit of tartness to it. It takes down the heat on it if it's a little too hot because not everybody wants a scorched tongue. Mm -hmm. So, so in it, blue we're specifying work. hot wings. So your yeah. ideal wings, buffalo, some kind of hot sauce. Right. We're not going like lemon pepper wings. You're not. Do, do we just want to. He's saying hot wings. But are we just going to call it chicken wings, essentially? Because that's yeah, what we'll it's call it that's chicken fair. wings. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Because if I'm not, then you're, no, you're, you're going to start eating up picks with... There's, there's, oh, a difference, is... there's a difference between... If you go to buy wings, you uh -huh. just don't say to somebody, give me wings. They're going to say, what sort of wings? No, so, no, correction. no, no, no. That's... You're going to say, I would like some chicken wings, and they're going to say, what flavor or style? So that branches out from chicken wings. So they're telling you there's a difference. It, it's so like did Jake. It, Mark. Jake's fine. It's like if I went to you and I said, give me some chips and dip. I'd ask you what type. Exactly. So what both. type of wings? <laughs> so you it's, can't an all, it's an all-encompassing yeah, exactly. thing. It, it, it's everything right there. <laughs> wow. 
I think Mark had one of his top seeds stolen from him right now. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Speaking of top seeds, we've got Joe with pick number two in round one. I'm going to go staple. You won't be at a big game day party without guacamole. Mm. Well, okay. Okay. Alone. So how do you make your guacamole? I mean, you know, guacamole. There's different ways to make. Some people would just mash up an avocado and call it guacamole. <laughs> That's all you do. You throw some other stuff in there. Listen, it's an all-encompassing term. This is great for me. It wasn't even on my board. Yeah. It's, not, <laughs> it's not mashed up what? It's not mashed up avocado. You know, it's, it depends on how much time you have. You mash it up, you throw the stuff in it, you go, oh, no, I don't have enough time. The first person's going to be here in five minutes. Hey, I've got salsa. Hey, I've got avocados. Hey, guacamole. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, don't, be, don't be adding those other dips in here. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, Jake, if we're going to spin it over towards your side, mm. are you also agreeing with Joe and bringing uh, guac to your like big in, game party? In, in my, at my party... That's an incomplete answer because I can't just have, what am I doing with the guacamole? Just looking at it? Like, what am I dipping in it? What am I adding it to? You could put it on as a facial. I some, some like that, maybe. Yeah. But Listen, you get frisky, you dip your chicken wings in it. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Wow. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I love guac, but I, need, I wanted to know what else. How are you going to use the guac? I think chips are implied. Okay. I think okay. tortilla chips are implied. That's fine with me. Don't mind. As long as the guac doesn't touch my big game party, I'm happy. <laughs> so like Ryan's I said. Apparently not. All right. Not like what we're putting Round one, pick three. We're going to Mark. Well, I'm going to go to just the easiest thing in the world that everybody will bring. So you're either going to bring a bowl of this or you're going to bring a bowl of that. So I'm going to bring the fruit, fruit play into this and the plate is going to be covered with a variety of different fruits that I like you guys too bad you're going to have to eat what I standard fruit plates are watermelon pineapple things like that you're going to get some apple cut up on it you might get I think a strange little fruit now and then but uh, yeah you've got a fruit tray for everybody that doesn't want the hot wing <laughs> doesn't like an avocado and sure isn't going to like what Ryan brings, so that's why you've got the <laughs> fruit tray at the table. You take a fruit tray round one? That, round was, one. that, that was my yes, only, that was my only I love a good fruit tray, <laughs> but your first pick is your I, favorite? I would, like, I would <laughs> like to state the fact that not only did he take it round one, he's already preparing for other people to say, what in the world are you bringing a fruit tray for? <laughs> I know, hey, he had to hey, sell hey, it. Hey, you know, fruit tray's fine for round one. <laughs> fruit tray's fine for round one. I'm so. playing it different than you guys because I'm going to put the most popular thing on there in round one. <laughs> They're going to look at his hot wings and everybody's going to say, that's too hot. I'm not really into that. They're going to look at you and say, it's a mashed avocado. <laughs> <laughs> Who made this? I could have stopped at the store and bought that. So we already know that you guys are behind me because everybody likes that variety with fruit. <laughs> it's fresh. It cleans the palate. It makes you ready. If you got the margarita going, you drop your fruit in there. You could even drop some of your fruit, depending on what it is, into your beer. If it's a dark beer, you could do that. If you got a glass of wine, you could do that. If you got a mimosa, you can do that. Mine is a universe. You can't do that with guacamole, <laughs> especially yours. You can't drop that in somebody's drink. So round mine's one, at the, mine's three. at the top of the round. <laughs> I, I've already defended it. Mine's at the top of the round. You shouldn't have to defend a round one pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the issue. It should be a consensus. Oh, that's a good I, one I, right I there. See that. I saw you guys. I saw you guys have a drool on your lips. Yeah, I don't know about <laughs> that one. It wasn't from Joe's bashed <laughs> avocado. <laughs> All right. All right. Pick. Round one, pick number four. We're gonna go with nachos. Classic. Solid. What the I, actor? Uh no, no, no. Just just nachos. Just nachos. Uh, <laughs> classic. You can't go wrong with it at your big game party. And for me, it's implied that nachos is a whole. So it's not that, like, you know, you go to a certain Mexican restaurant, they give you the tortilla chips, they give you a little bit of cheese on the side, you dip it. No, no, no. For me, nachos is already set as a dish. So you got your tortilla chips down, you ladle some black beans over top, maybe a little bit. 
of um, some Mexican cheese onto it. Then you go with the nacho cheese and you add carne asada on top. Those are some nachos that are going to be at my big game party. I get behind that. Uh, carne asada was put over the top. I'm curious if you're going to go meat or no meat there. You, yeah, I, excellent choice. Sir. I think you absolutely have Could to add Corey that carne get asada. Four bowls and, and just leave the <laughs> chips right there. You know what? If he was here, he could. But unfortunately, there is no to go boxes at my big game party. <laughs> All, right. So, All right. Nachos go off the board. I take those. And since I'm the first pick in round number two, I'm going to give a surprise pick. I'm going to give a little bit of a sleeper pick here and go empanadas. Empanadas are going to be my round two pick one pick. I'm going to put you on the spot, but what kind? Uh, it has to be Colombian empanadas. So that <laughs> means that you're going to get your shredded beef. You're going to get uh, your potato, a little bit of tomato into that, some celery as well, and then you'll add that green onion in there. Perfect. Unique, but I get, I get behind that. That's a good that's a good Strong end to round one. Strong start, I think, to round <laughs> two. We're back to Mark. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to help out uh, Ryan just a little because, you know, I got the, the hot wings over here. I got the avocado Guacamole. sitting there on <laughs> the plate. So, you know what? Why don't we uh, – see, I could go two ways on this one. I'm going to help out Joe just a little, and you could actually – this works with the hot wings. So I'm going to take some loaded potato skins Ooh, and throw that's... those out there right now. That, that should have been a round one gonna, pick. Now you're cooking more. Yeah, that should have been the first No, pick. I like fruit. <laughs> Jeez, guys, you need to realize I'm not like you guys. I'm a healthy person in this room. If you looked at the group, you'd realize that somebody might be younger, but if we had to go in a marathon right now, I guarantee I'll win. <laughs> I can probably finish a half marathon. I can finish half the fruit plate. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go. And when I load them, I load them with everything. I love yeah, Ryan knows I love cheese, mm -hmm. so we're big cheese guys. Ryan, I'm gonna put my sour cream on top of there mm -hmm. too. Got I gotta do it. I know. Got to put a, got to put a little Jake. Got to put a little minced onion on mm -hmm. the top too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I like that there. You know Absolutely. what? And I'm gonna have a little horseradish on the table because mm -hmm. I have friends that dip mine in horseradish that works. sauce. There we go. All right, I'm going to take a page kind of out of Ryan's pick. I don't think it's going to be popular in this group, but we're going to go back to some family kind of cooking, some stuff from where my region and my family is in the world. We're going pickled herring because big game day party, that's it, almost everyone that I've ever been to. I, I just need to be educated. I'm not, I don't know what that is. So you take herring. You have like a white wine <laughs> vinegar kind of sauce, and you pickle it with onions, and then you just eat it. Slap it on some crackers. See, that's a real eclectic taste. There's going to be people that are going to look at that table and go, I ain't touching that. <laughs> oh, there, there, there's going to be people that look at the jar and say, please put the lid back on that. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, you don't even need to get up to the table to <laughs> know. Whether or not you're going to taste that. And somebody's going to say, where'd that come from? And I'd say, you know that half of avocado that was just... <laughs> <laughs> the guy Same with the guy fruit plate him. is ribbing me. I can't <laughs> yeah. believe this. No, no. It's not bad that he brought the fruit plate. It's bad that he led <laughs> off yes. with the fruit plate. World hey, Series, game you. one, I'm first batter you. up in the order, and he brings a fruit I plate. i tell you what. <laughs> fruit plate, variety, healthy, full of vitamins and minerals. And you know Helps what I? Why you're drinking? You know what I don't Everybody's want during my big drinking. dream party? Nutrients, vitamins, <laughs> oh, and minerals. Wow. You know what I do want? Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Good choice. No, none with the pickled herring. I can tell you that. <laughs> I like pickled herring though. I, I like figured you choice. would. I like the choice. Oh. So uh, we've got round two, pick number four, which means Jake, you are up. I'm going to stay on the, sp on the spicy train a little bit here, and I'm going to go with jalapeno poppers Ooh. as my okay. second-round choice. I Again. want those to get away from me and two spicy things, but I was afraid I was going to potentially lose that one if I didn't pick it soon. Um, that one with ranch. I know it's not easy, but jalapeno Better. poppers with ranch is, is the w what I'm bringing to the, to the big game party. You know what? Jalapeno poppers, I won't lie, that was going to be my next pick once I got up. Jalapeno poppers, it almost seems like you can't go wrong with them because those are the type that you could either just go straight jalapeno mm -hmm. 
with uh you know the cheese inside you could also bake it you could fry it mm -hmm. you could fry it and then add your toppings right. there's a lot of different ways you can go with that yeah that's, that's one that's one of my personal favorites all right still on deck so, yeah, swinging into to round three i believe this is where i will add my healthier side and let me be a little specific it's a veggie tray but not 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 like with a bajillion things i'm i'm good with carrots broccoli and celery right there just to give me that, just so I feel better about myself, about eating hot wings and jalapeno poppers. You know what I no want to say? Mm. Round three, perfect place mm. to see a fruit or a veggie oh. tray. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because you know what? At that point, you're cleansing the palate. You're getting yourself reset for your next I would have went fruit tray, but you it was like I was are, off the table. You guys, you guys are so bloated now. <laughs> you can't eat any fruit. I'm feeling good. The fruit has got me there. Now I decide, see, because Jake is just going to fire my brain up <laughs> with everything I stick in my mouth. So I got my fruit place sitting there. I take one of those jalapeno peppers, <laughs> I poppers. I eat it. I took a little watermelon, <laughs> wash it down that way. Actually, I'll go over to Joe's avocado <laughs> and sit there and probably take it by myself, scoop that in my mouth. I'm set while I'm drinking my nice, cool drink that I got going with all of this, and my fruit ties it all together. <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys, you too, man. Listen, you, we're, you not, we're, not, we're not ribbing you for the pick. We're just saying how high. round one. How high you took it. Early. Because yeah. we just defended it, you know? I'm I don't think it needed defending, but okay. <laughs> you know? Round three, pick number two. We've got Joe on the clock. I don't think you can do a big game day party <clears throat> without some sort of pretzel snack. Mm, okay. Whether it's pretzel sticks or the seasoned pretzels, um, those like honey mustard barbecue pretzels, mm, maybe mm. we, you know, appease Jake and we get the jalapeno ranch pretzel Oof. bits, something like that. I don't think you can have a big game day party without some kind of pretzel snack. What's a snit stick? <laughs> it's called a flub. <laughs> it's called misspeaking. It's called not oh, being able okay. to do the oh, thing I that you're supposed to be able to do for a living. Thanks no, for putting I, me on the spot. Mark. <laughs> I thought it was some sort of weird pretzel that worked with a no, sliced no. avocado. <laughs> and a fruit tray. <laughs> <laughs> so we're also going to give you soft pretzels in that. Because you said pretzel snack. You didn't you know, kind of pigeonhole yourself into a specific spot. So we'll toss in soft pretzels into your category. Uh, that's a great call. You know what? I'll take it. So. I'd like to thank the committee for that one. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So, Mark. Daggers. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know what? I mean, I'm, I'm really disappointed because we got chips. We got one stupid dip on the table. <laughs> a really nice fruit tray that everybody's enjoying. They're staring at the rest of the stuff going, hey, unless I got something to wash this down with. So, guys, I'm going to go with what I think is the most popular dip at least when we have parties for any sort of games that we watch together as a group and that's baked spinach and artichoke that just goes over big for everybody and that's that hot dip that's going on mm. there that sort of balances out things and see that sort of goes with fruit vegetables then whatever else is on the table so, yeah. You could dip all I'm, those things into it. Also I'm a compelling dip round one pick, I'd like to add. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick an avocado. It's delicious, Mark. I like spinach. I like artichoke. For some reason, I just cannot get behind a spinach artichoke dip. I've tried many. Just not my thing. Not like that it's bad. Just not my thing. I feel like he's leading into his dip. No, mm. no, 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 no. Are you just not a dip fan? You know what? That that might be it. I'm just not a dip fan. I'm more of a the the event, the snack, the conglomerate, the amalgamy that is <laughs> my <laughs> snacks are already set and ready to go, and I don't need the dip to go Getting with to it. Anything. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. He just wants to buy a pair of new slacks that are a size bigger. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I am going to go into my pick. <laughs> Round three, pick number four. I am going to take mozzarella sticks off the table Ooh. because I love me some mozzarella sticks. 
I feel like mozzarella sticks can go with anything. Yes, it is a fantastic big game snack. Mark <laughs> is shaking his head over here. Why is that? Yo, did you hear what he said? I did. Why is he taking them off the table? I thought this was where we put all our food on the table. He's taking it off of your table and putting it in front of him. I I didn't even have that on my table. Guy goes to the store, buys sticks, uncuts them open. How creative is that? Might as well just get a bar of jack cheese. here's Here's the issue. Is that you get the bar of jack cheese and you cut it lengthwise, cut it lengthwise again. Then you get your smaller bars of jack cheese. You end up rolling that in the egg, in the panko, back to the egg, into the fryer. And now you got yourself some homemade mozzarella sticks without having to use mozzarella. (laughs) Those are jack cheese sticks. Man, you had me go down the road, and I was <laughs> waiting too. for the curve. Oh, and yeah, the reason, too. the reason why I'm taking it off the table, Mark, is because I'm putting it on my plate. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we're at round four. Pick one, right? Round four. Pick one. I'm gonna go with Stromboli. I love Ooh. me a good Stromboli, and I feel like it's going to be that selection that everyone goes, looks at, and goes. I I forgot that existed. So the Stromboli I literally is my did. round that, four pick one. That feels dangerously close to an entree. It stromboli? Does. It does. Yes. Yeah. Really? Does. Okay. Yeah. You know what? But you know what? I'm I'm gonna I, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna live with it because some of us might have other things that we could look at. So because we'll I'm see not what taking I'm does. not taking the whole Stromboli. I'm going with the slices of the Stromboli. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're gonna do Stromboli, don't you think that would have been a first a great first pick? No, I think his first round pick was pretty good. Yeah, see? <laughs> and it, again, it is your big game day party. Exactly. Do Thank your you, way. Jake. Thank you. <laughs> so we got Monterey Jack mozzarella sticks <laughs> as round three, pick four. And then Stromboli slices as round four, pick one. Now we go to Mark. We're at a Pinocchio party with uh, him. Stromboli. You know what I'm going to add your, to your table, though? I think we need some... More potatoes, because I love potatoes. I love potatoes in Ooh. all different forms. So I'm going to throw in some tailgate tots mm. to go along the way, too. And, of course, we've got now our dips and everything else. You sort of roll everything together. And uh, we have our starches. We have our meats and our fruit The balances everything out. <laughs> so and, a good call. Some, and some vegetables from Jake over there. So now we've almost got a real plate of food going on the table. So the tots go next. Well, I think your tots are going to go honorable mention. I think they're going to sit on the bench because I'm coming in with some. <laughs> I'm coming in with some real tater game right here, <laughs> and we're going to go baked <laughs> potato <laughs> bar. Ooh, baked a potato, potato bar. Potato bar. Wow. Yeah. For That's your big a game day one. snack, you've got the grill going already. And you just wrap those potatoes in some aluminum foil and just keep it going and feeding fresh baked potatoes to the baked potato bar. Well, I didn't even. I didn't even cross my mind. But, now, that but sounds like that sounds like that goes with his entree that we shouldn't have allowed there, that's but not, that's okay. No, no, no. What meal is a baked potato considered an entree? It's in addition. It's, 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 it's I've had a baked potato. Yeah, I've it's, had a baked potato as an entree. It is an accoutrement. You get the baked po- the loaded baked potato. It's that's an entree. A meal. That's, a, that's <laughs> it's an entree. entree. All right, Stromboli boy. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> hey, what about you? <laughs> Okay, now we go to a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can top a baked potato bar, and I don't know if I have the proper terms. So you guys might have to help me out. The little uh, hot dog weenies. Beanie my, weenies. Yes, my clothes out. Okay. Clothes okay. out pick. Definitely need some dipping sauces there. Um, but yeah, that would that's I think been every Super Bowl party that I can remember that I've been to. So that's that's got to be on my list as well. So them wrapped in a little like crescent little, yeah, roll, mm-hmm. or or yes. in the okay, in a okay. little crescent roll. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we call them pigs in a blanket, but I don't know if that's really the proper okay. that, that, proper that, term that or not. Yeah, so that's that's one of my favorites. All right, we can run over to Ryan, who's been our statistician. This you can break Alrighty. down the picks. So, Jake's team currently is hot wings, jalapeno poppers, a veggie tray, and the the pigs in a blanket. Mm-hmm. All right, and Joe's is guacamole, pickled herring. Pretzel snacks and baked potato <laughs> bar. <laughs> wow. That is unique. Which makes mine nachos, uh, empanadas, mozzarella sticks made with Monterey Jack, 
and stromboli <laughs> slices. <laughs> and then Mark's at the end of round number four is a fruit plate, questionably, <laughs> loaded potato <laughs> skins, baked spinach and artichoke dip, artichoke dip and tater tots. <laughs> I, I think the editorializing on Mark's picks really what kind of screwed you up there, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It may have, just a little bit. So there it is, I think, at least four. I got I got one question, though. Okay. You know what none of us threw in there? What's Because about at round five, because I realized all of a sudden, damn, we, we went a little longer. I mean, I would have said, hey, you know, nobody's got a sweet tooth. I'd have done some football mm. brownies because you got to okay. have something sweet on sweet the table. Sweet tooth, that's a good Maybe call. You so I got have... my... My fruit's going to handle all those people that are diabetic. <laughs> and then my football brownies are going to do the rest of it. So that's just, you know, that's sitting on the edge of my plate. I don't think you would have needed a round five pick if you didn't pick fruit tray <laughs> round one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just you saying. Know Enjoy your pickle herring. I will. <laughs> there was some good stuff left on the board. You got stuff like bacon deviled eggs, pizza Ooh. rolls. I got kettle corn. Got meatball egg rolls. Charcuterie board. That, the charcuterie board could have also been tossed sandwiches. in there. Oh, that's a great call. That's a very good one. And then you could also, well, what mine was going to be <laughs> next was toasted ravioli. Oh, I like you know toasted what? or I, fried because I've also had fried ravioli. Yeah. I, air fried ravioli yeah. is fantastic. I yeah. that. Okay, I would go with that too. Sounds like good. Whose house are we going to? <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, I think this was a good first one. Maybe FC Hornet Media will bring you guys another, you know, something draft down the line. Yeah. Um, anyways, you guys listen to it. Let us know who had the winning team out of this from Jake, Mark, Ryan, Joe over here. Uh, seeing everybody else's picks, I don't think I have the winning team. Mm. <laughs> well, I know which one I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll like it. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> yeah. Joe's gonna be watching the game, and I think I think <laughs> round two I torpedoed myself for mass appeal. I think mass <laughs> market appeal. The rest of the list I think is solid. Oh no, no, I would go to yours. <laughs> the fruit tray round one oh. is still getting to me. Yeah, Listen, yeah. that's like having Gretzky on the board and going, ah, "I'm gonna pass." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you look at Tom anymore. Brady, keep him on the board, and you decide. You know, you know what? what? I love Mark Sanchez here. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna say this: out of all your picks, there, even if I take some of yours, I know one pick that's gonna be in everybody's house, and it ain't yours. It ain't yours. Oh. It might be yours. <laughs> but definitely, that fruit tray is going to be there, and it's going to be different nationalities of fruit. They're all going to have a different races, <laughs> no, different No, no. See, that's, that's going that's to be the incorrect number one pick. Because we all you would have it. to break it down by regions of America to find your <laughs> fruit tray. Because you, fruit go, to the be there. No, listen, you go to the I, Pacific listen. Northwest and it will be there. You go to the Southeast, it will not be there, and you <laughs> might be tossed out of the big game party for bringing it. I mean, look at this room. <laughs> There's a fruit tray between four of us. <laughs> listen, that, that says it all. I worked grocery. I've worked the day of the big game. We cannot keep enough guacamole. Oh. In the oh. store. <laughs> you know what? We have plenty of it at the end of the day. <laughs> fruit fruit trays. trays. Oh, <laughs> people buy fruit trays right and left. I, got, I actually got told by the manager at Safeway, biggest sellers all the time are fruit trays and the vegetable trays because they're the easiest things to purchase, the easiest things to bring to parties, and every. So eats what I'm them. hearing is. You got an email saying everyone needs to bring something. You were on the way to the big game party and went, oh, wow, I forgot to bring something. So you swung by the store, panic bought a fruit tray, and then tried to pass it off as your round one pick. And you know where that beats at? Because I didn't stop the store, buy an avocado, cut it in half, and call it guacamole. <laughs> All right, anyway, I think that brings us to the end of the first supplemental episode of The Coach's Show. We'll probably have more of these. Uh, when? Who knows? But uh, <laughs> thanks, guys. Let us know who has the best team. And Coach's Show should be out every Friday while yep. the semester is going mm -hmm. on. Uh, Jake, what you got going on the Hornet before we go? Yeah, just get, uh, getting back in the flow. Uh, got some stories coming out this week. Looking forward to covering some baseball on Friday, amongst other things. And uh, we're looking forward to a great semester. Heard uh, 
Jake's writing a really great article about fruit trays. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ryan. An opinion piece. Ryan, 145, sports class, coaches show. Anything big this semester so far, even though we're just, you know, a week-ish into the new semester? Yeah, they've got a lot of games coming up. I know the 145 class in the middle of March is going to go out to softball, so you can expect a lot of softball on the air in addition to some women's basketball, too. Coaches show is actually going to have two different installments coming up very soon with the remembrance of Alfiola that happened recently, in addition to talking about a brand new commitment coming out of Fullerton College football, going mm-hmm. elsewhere to the Division One level. And tossing it over to you, Mark, you were at the Alfiola event. You give us a little bit of a tease of what went on there. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, one of, one of the bigger turnouts for uh, anything like this, they showed up and the stories that I heard going all the way back to 1960, talking about Al and the days that they were here and the stories they told. And we had Hall of Famers that were there once again, people that Ryan would know because he's interviewed many of them like I have, and a great tribute to a wonderful man who was here on the coaching staff who really cared about his student-athletes. Nothing but great memories about Al. All right. So that's it for the first episode of the supplemental episode of the Coaches Show, you know, Chapter 1 Article three <clears throat> subsection round whatever one, pick one. <laughs> yeah something like that anyway bye <laughs>